Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm again deep in the Surrey Hills, just past Dorking, and I've come to Friday Street, a very, very uh, rural and isolated little uh, community. Not much here in view of um, uh, houses and that. It's absolutely fascinating. But what we're gonna do today, uh, before we come and explore Friday Street, we're gonna go up to a couple of things in Broadmoor I want to show you on this gloriously hot day. It's beautiful, it's only like 10 o'clock and it's uh, sweating already. Interestingly, Friday Street, I first came here with, my dad bought me here when I was a kid and I've been fascinated by this place ever since. I have been back here a few times, obviously in recent years, but I've never done videos from here. So uh, yeah, should be quite nice. I have a, a pub lunch at the Abinger Hatch uh, in Abinger, which I've been to, I think the last time I had lunch there was about 2015, but I've done videos from Abinger. Uh, so that should be great to look forward to. So uh, let's go. <laughs> I last did this walk from Friday Street down to Broadmoor, which is not that far, it's only about just under a mile. And I'm trying to do it from memory, but I have actually got directions. Because you're sort of crossing over paths, crossing over roads, going slightly right, going slightly left. Um, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, we're in Broadmoor and we're just going to retrace some steps I did back in 2015, which I have seen this before. It's the Tillingbourne Waterfall. Let's go and find it. One thing I've noticed when I've been out in the Surrey Hills, especially around the Wotton area, is how aggressive the signage is for Wotton Estate. Private property, private property, private property. All right, we get it, it's private property. But yeah, man, signs everywhere. And here it is, the Tillingbourne Waterfall. Is it natural or is it an artificial one? I think it was, might have been artificial um, from the old Wotton Estate in the 1700s. There's a little bit of a hidden gem. It's a shame you can't even go up close to it because once again, private, no public way. They could have a little gate here just so people could go up and have a closer look. But you know, the Tillingbourne Waterfall. I mean, you can really transfer, transfer this place into a little sort of meditation area, just a bit place to chill out, relax. Prime location. But, ain't gonna happen because it's private. It's easily accessible from Broadmoor. You might have to park in Friday Street car park and walk sort of, I think just under a mile down to Broadmoor and just past the village. Very easy to find. Right, thank you waterfall. Can't meditate here today, but I wanna show you something else. Let's go. Lovely trickle of the stream here. Uh, this is a private road up to Tillingbourne and the source of the Tillingbourne, which is Tilling Springs, 
on Warren Farm, Tilling Springs, sort of the River Tillingbourne. Uh, private road is public footpath. If you want to go up there, so I mean, some fantastic walks around here. Um, but we're not today. It's great what they do with the old phone boxes, isn't it? You know, some are defibrillators, sometimes you can do book swaps. Here is like a little map of where to go around the area, car parks to the waterfall to Leith Hill Tower. It's great. Okay, I've had to abandon that. I wanted to take you to the Folly, the Broadmoor Tower, which is not very well known. I'm not sure if it's on private land or not, there's no signposts. I know people have been up there before. So uh, yeah, it's just still too overgrown and I'm not quite sure where it is. I know it's only up there somewhere, um, but yeah, we'll do that one for another time. Maybe in the winter when it's uh, easier to traverse the, uh, the landscape. So um, yeah, Matthew Holdsworth, if you're, if you're watching, you have to take me up there, you know where it is. Um, okay, let's go and head back to Friday Street. So we're back in Friday Street with its great hammer pond. Lovely, lovely area. Lovely little walk up to the pub that's not there anymore, the Stephen Langton, which is a shame. Look at some of the houses. go Stephen Langton pub all closed up don't know why lack of business who knows but I thought this was a popular spot I've, I've eaten and drank in here it's lovely it was a lovely pub yeah oh. loads of awards it's one hopefully someone's bought it and it's going to be reopened such a shame Inside. look around here The kind of thing urban explorers love, isn't it? This kind of thing. Yeah. Interestingly, the pub was named after Stephen Langton, who was Archbishop of Canterbury uh, in the 1100s and was uh, quintessentially one of the people who signed, sorry, helped draft the Magna Carta. Now, um, Martin Tupper, who was a writer in the Victorian era, sort of romanticised it a little bit. Um, like he did with uh, the Silent Paul legend and said that uh, Stephen Langton was born in Friday Street based on absolutely no historical evidence at all. He may well have, but who knows. Oh, talking of the Magna Carta, I think it's only how, don't know how many copies are left, um, but I was lucky enough to see a copy in the uh, National Archives in Washington DC uh, back in 2015. Obviously you can't take photos because it's a, such an old document and it's all very low lighting and specialised lighting, but that was fascinating to see a copy of the Magna Carta. And this chap has something to do with it. Another little fact, Friday Street, um, was used, who remembers this, in a 1984 BBC science fiction television series, The Tripods. Do you remember The Tripods? Bit of a rip-off of the War of the Worlds, but um, all people being capped to control them. <laughs> How appropriate today. Um, yes, so yeah, there's been a location for The Tripods. Okay, let's go down the village. <laughs> Oh, 
They've even got a post box in this little hamlet. <laughs> the little Tillingbourne stream. It comes down. Lovely. Lovely little area. Hello. While I'm out walking, I've just come across this gentleman, Mick. Hello, Mick. Who's uh, what exactly are you doing here? Because you're a local, aren't you? I am. I'm a gardener. Oh. And so, I mean, fortunately, today it's a lovely day, but I'm in the shade and just uh, renewing some log roll for this lady's house. And um, yeah, just having a nice time. Lovely. So you live in the village. So you, so you just go and do odd jobs for other people. Yeah, I'm a yeah. gardener. Yeah, so gardener. I'm the village gardener, basically. Wow. I just go around, trot around the, around the village, have a nice time. Yeah, it's just all around the Surrey Hills. Yeah, pot around all day. Holmby St. Mary, oh. Abinger Common, here. Yeah, I've yeah, got lovely. lunch in the Abinger Hatch in a minute. Have you? Actually, I love oh, that. Oh, love that pub. Lucky man. Love that pub. You're a lucky man. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all good. Oh, thank you very much for having a quick chat. No, yeah, it's, really it's all good, mate. So, yeah. look, enjoy the rest of your walk. Thank you very much. Some lovely things to see. Yeah, I've been. I've done this um, probably about 10 times over the last 15 years. Well done. Yeah. It is, it's pretty. We're very, very lucky in the it Surrey Hills. Pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Friday Street. There's a dog swimming over there, which is a shame. It says no bathing, so why are dogs allowed? No. Um, what we're gonna do now is head over to Avenger, just around the corner, which I've done videos from before, and lunch at the Avenger Hatch. Let's go. As I drive down to the Avenger Hatch pub, I've always been curious about this well here that's on the roadside, and it's uh, St James's Well. This well was built by William John Evelyn, one of the Evelyn family, and was declared open for the use of Avenger parishes August the 11th, 1893. 1893. Just want to quickly stop by and uh, have a quick look. It's amazing, look at that. Lovely well. So here we are back in Abinger Hatch and uh, I've done videos from here before which I'll link below so I'm not going to repeat myself but it's a lovely little uh, area high up on the North Downs church we've been in before so yeah time for lunch I think the village stocks place where one comes to take stock of their life. Terrible joke. James in Avenger was built before 1086. It's a very old church. Obviously, a lot of renovations over the years, as always. And um, how, check this out: a load of sofas. You don't see that every day in a church. A load of sofas. How cool is that? <laughs> when I was here last in 2018, I think it was, um, there was a great guidebook to the church, which I didn't have any money for. Who carries money nowadays? And the very nice lady gave it to me for free, which is nice. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Sofas in the church. Oh, 
Well, I think that's a good point to end the video on these sofas in this church in St. James's. Sorry, someone's mowing the lawn outside. Um, great pub lunch in the Abinger Hatch. Highly recommended. Um, really nice pub that. Very, very popular locally. Getting very busy, you know, although we're midweek, it's very busy. Um, but nice walk around Friday Street. Say, sorry we couldn't get to the tower. We'll try and sort that out for next time. But it's good to see the waterfall. Um, and yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.